Nearly 300 kilometres from the Netherlands, Thanet could become the new Amsterdam with a councillor's plan for a cannabis cafe. The Green Party councillor has called a meeting for next month, inviting the county's top brass, including Kent Police Commissioner Anne Barnes, as well as drug policy experts, to discuss whether law enforcement could turn a blind eye to marijuana use in the cafe. The councillor, who has himself used various drugs recreationally in the past, believes that the cafe, which does not yet have a location, could be a big attraction for Thanet. There are thousands of people in Thanet who, who, who are recreational cannabis smokers and, and I think having a place where you can hang out with your mates and, and, and chill and relax, have a, something to drink, something to eat and uh, unwind with your friends over a, over a spliff is a fantastic thing to be able to do. It's like just like going to the pub. Uh, it's, it's a drug that's very sociable, you can chill out with your friends have a good time and, and get into all sorts of interesting discussions. It's fantastic and, and I don't believe it to be uh, something that's going to lead you on to heroin or, or, or other things. I, I don't think that's the case. I would, if I had a choice of having a pub or a cannabis cafe on the corner of a street, I'd vote for a cannabis cafe every single time. So far, the proposal has received a very mixed response. Uh, what do you think of a cannabis cafe opening in Thanet? I think it's marvellous. I think it's the best idea ever. <laughs> just as well, because it's all underground, it's there, it's here. We just want to know who it is. Not really a fan of it, if I'm honest. Um... Oh, no way. Disagree with it. No, they've got them in Holland. Well, I, don't, I don't think the take on over here. The meeting, which will be held at the Red Hall in Broadstairs next month, is already expected to have over 100 people attend although many of the major players have yet to confirm their attendance. The big question is whether Anne Barnes could agree to the proposal without legalisation of the drug on a national level. The idea, however, is still in its very early stages and we will not know for sure how something like this could be implemented until the meeting on the 15th of March.